In this short video, we're going to look at adding and subtracting like fractions. Now, like fractions have the same denominator. So adding and subtracting them uh, is very simple. We keep the same denominator and just add or subtract the numerator. So the bottom stays the same and we add or subtract the stop to the top. And so with numbers, it's pretty simple. Uh, so I just go ahead and keep, in, in this case, the de denominator is 15. It's going to stay 15. I add the 2 plus 8 to make 10. And then, of course, I need to simplify, looking for any forms of 1 after factoring. Now, with algebraic fractions, I need to be a little bit careful, in particular with uh, subtraction, because this division bar is a grouping symbol. So this 4 minus x and this 3x plus 1 should be considered groups. They should really be treated as if they were in parentheses. So when I perform the subtraction, I must put the 4 minus x in parentheses or subtract it as a group. This is easy to forget. So what I like to do is whenever I'm working with algebraic fractions is I go ahead and put the groups above and below the division bar in parentheses to remind myself that it should be in parentheses or treated as a group. All right, then we can distribute the minus sign. So I'll get a minus 4 and a plus x and combine the like terms. And there's nothing that, that can be factored here, so no simplification is possible. All right, let's look at another example. Uh, again, we have the same denominator. We have subtraction, so really we should be considering the top here in parentheses. We treat it as a group and then distribute that minus sign across every term inside the parentheses. Collect the like terms. Now this time I have a common factor and so I'm going to go ahead and factor out everything in the numerator and the denominator and I see that there is a form of 1. The binomial u plus 2 over itself and so that will simplify to just 2 over u.